Once upon a time in the bustling kingdom of Eldoria, there lived a wealthy and powerful king named King Alaric. His palace, adorned with gold and jewels, towered over the city. Casting a shadow over the modest homes of his subjects, King Alaric was known far and wide for his opulence and grandeur, but he was also infamous for his lack of compassion for the less fortunate. On the outskirts of the kingdom, in a humble village, there resided a kind and hard-working young man named Oliver. Oliver, though poor, was content with his simple life. He lived in a small cottage with a thatch roof, and he made a living by tending to a small plot of land that he had inherited from his parents. One day, news spread throughout the kingdom that King Alaric was organizing a grand feast to celebrate his birthday. The entire city was invited, and the anticipation was palpable. The rich and powerful eagerly prepared for the extravagant event, while the poor worried about how they would survive the festivities. In the village, Oliver heard about the grand feast and couldn't help but feel a whinge of sadness. He knew he could never afford to attend such an event, and the thought of missing out on the celebration weighed heavily on his heart. As the day of the feast approached, a mysterious old man appeared in the village. He was a wise sage known for his ability to see the goodness in people's hearts. The old man approached Oliver and said, Young man, though you may be poor in wealth, your heart is rich with kindness. Come with me to the feast, and you shall see that true wealth lies not in gold and jewels, but in the warmth of human connection. Curious and hopeful, Oliver agreed to accompany the old man to the grand feast. When they arrived at the palace gates, the guards scoffed at Oliver's humble attire. However, the old man spoke with conviction. This young man may not have gold to offer, but his heart is a treasure beyond measure. Intrigued, King Alaric welcomed Oliver into the feast. As Oliver stepped inside the opulent hall, he marveled at the extravagance that surrounded him. The air was filled with the aroma of delicious food, and the sound of laughter and music echoed through the halls. King Alaric, noticing Oliver's presence, approached him with a condescending smile. What brings a poor peasant like you to my grand celebration? He asked. The old man stepped forward and replied. This young man may not have riches, but he possesses a wealth of kindness and humility. Perhaps, my lord, you could learn something valuable from him. Intrigued by the old man's words, King Alaric decided to engage Oliver in conversation. As they talked, the king was surprised to discover the depth of Oliver's wisdom and the richness of his character. Oliver, in turn, shared stories of the simple joys of life, the importance of compassion, and the beauty of humility. As the night unfolded, a transformation occurred within King Alaric. He began to see the emptiness of his material wealth and the loneliness that came with it. The genuine warmth and sincerity of Oliver's character touched a chord within the king's heart, prompting him to reflect on the true meaning of richness. In the days that followed, King Alaric initiated changes in the kingdom. He used his wealth to improve the lives of the less fortunate, building schools, hospitals, and shelters for those in need. The once ostentatious king became known for his generosity and compassion, and the kingdom of Eldoria flourished in a newfound spirit of unity and empathy. And so, the story of the rich king and the poor guy became a legend in Eldoria, a timeless tale of how a chance encounter and a humble heart can transform even the wealthiest of souls. In the grand tapestry of life, true wealth isn't measured in gold or jewels but in the richness of one's character. The story of the rich king and the poor guy teaches us that compassion, humility, and the simple joys of life hold a value far greater than any material possession. It reminds us that in connecting with others and understanding the beauty in simplicity, we discover the true essence of wealth. As we close the pages of this dreamer's diary chronicle, let the tale of the rich king and the poor guy inspire you to seek a wealth beyond the tangible. In the journey of life, may you find richness in kindness, depth in humility, and joy in the simple moments. Join us again in the next chapter, where stories continue to unfold, 
and dreams find their place in the chronicles of our hearts. Until then, dream on, fellow dreamers.